I'm Brittany here of the Homesteading Hiker and Sun and Soil Farm. And this year, our muscadine grapevine rewarded us with five pounds of muscadine grapes. So we are going to make jelly. Uh, this is really easy. We've done it before. It's just grape sugar, water, and lemon juice. We do a no pectin recipe. So the first step is to wash your grapes. We've already done that. We've already de-stemmed them. They're ready to go. So let's make jelly. So we have our 15 cups of grapes. Now we're going to add water. You need about half the amount of water that there are grapes. So that was six cups and you want to just cover, so that's plenty. Now we'll start boiling. To make the juice, you want to bring your water into your grapes to a boil over medium high heat for five to 10 minutes. And as it goes, you just want to mash your grapes, releasing the juices and beginning to release the grapes from their skins. So it's been 10 minutes and you can see that it's made some good juice for us now. So we're gonna move on to the next step, which is straining. Okay, so we're gonna strain it. We're using a nut milk bag um, on this weird contraption, so I don't burn myself, hopefully, when Richard pours it in. Okay. Is it gonna fit? Yeah. I don't know how much is left. Oh, shoot. There's a lot left. <laughs> uh, let's, we can strain that and dump it. We're going to squeeze the juice out of this bag and then pour the rest of the grapes in after we get through this. So we've developed a master technique of rolling the nut milk bag down and then pushing it with our stick to try and get as much juice out. Then of course you know us, we're saving all of the stuff. We're going to use this to make a kombucha second ferment and it's going to be like kombucha wine. Here is our beautiful muscadine juice. We have just under eight cups. We're gonna go ahead and transfer this back in to our pot to begin the jelly making process now. We're gonna go ahead and pour this in. So for our eight cups, we're gonna add, you wanna do two thirds the amount of sugar to the amount of juice you have. So we have just cane sugar, so for our eight cups of juice, we're gonna add five cups of sugar. Four. For the lemon juice, you wanna use fresh squeezed. I've already gone ahead and done that. And we're gonna add two and a half tablespoons. Bring the pot to a hard boil to dissolve the sugar and now we set a timer for 20 to 25 minutes stirring occasionally and removing the foam as it appears on the surface. Alright, so you need something to store your jelly in. We have a hodgepodge of different types of jars. So if you're doing a small batch of jelly, you can just move it right into the fridge when it's done. You don't need to can it. But since we're doing such a large batch, we're going to can it. So we have our hot water bath already boiling. So we need to finish sanitizing our jars. So we're going to go ahead and move all of these jars into there. If you are canning, you need to use brand new lids for this process. And you need to make sure the rings you're using are not dented. So we're going to go ahead and move these into our canner so we can sterilize them. So we already have the water warming up. It's not boiling yet. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop all of these jars in there. And you will want to do this while your jelly is going because your jars need to be hot to pour the hot jelly into. It's been 40 minutes and a lot of the water has been boiled off now. And we're getting really close. It's been 45 minutes and our jelly is ready to go. One way you know for sure is to, um, on the back of a spoon, run your finger across it. And if the jelly doesn't drip past that line, you know it's set and ready to go. Our water bathing cans are about ready, so it is time to pour this jelly into the jars. Okay, we're gonna pull our cans out of the hot water using tongs and being, of course, very careful
they need to be hot as you pour the jelly into them. All right, for the moment of truth, time to pour this jelly. Are y'all jelly? <laughs> A quarter inch, right? That's good. Yeah. So I'm gonna do your bowls. Look at this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, get a little tiny jar. Like what? Like a, a tiny. This? Yeah, this will have to, this is not much. We'll just put this right in the fridge. You just want to make sure there's no air bubbles. In any of your jars. You want to wipe the top of your jars nice and clean. Put the lid on. Okay, now we're going to screw our lids on. And then we'll put these right back into the canner to hot water bait them. Alright, we're moving them into the hot water bath now. Okay, it's almost boiling. Once it is, we'll let them boil for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes of your jelly in your can are boiling, you can go ahead and remove them. So everything's done. We have them out on the counter cooling. Mm -hmm. And after you take them out, if you're around, you might hear the little safety seal pop down. If not, just check them after about 30 minutes or an hour uh, once they're cool this will be nice and tight and you won't be able to push that safety seal down. And if they're down and you can't hear it go up and down, it means they sealed properly. Oh, we're excited from our 15 pounds of grapes, mm -hmm. or our five pounds. Five pounds, 15 five, cups. Five pounds of grapes, 15 cups. We ended up with this much jelly that yeah. we'll be able to enjoy throughout the winter and remember our summer in the garden when we mm -hmm. grew muscadines together for the first time. Yeah. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. Hope you make some jelly. Bye.